Ciao and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. It's all about fresh pasta and you can't do a pasta series without a lasagna. I absolutely love lasagna. I'm gonna keep this recipe really simple. I am actually gonna be making my own uh, lasagna sheets, but you can just buy the store-bought ones uh, or get across and check out the video that I made the other day on how to make fresh lasagna. But I'm gonna keep this very simple because I think every parent should be able to make it. Come on, let me show you how. Now, another advantage of using this beautiful, silky, fresh pasta is that you can make your lasagna sheets any shape you like, which is good because I'm going to make it in a round skillet. I'll get on and make the sheets. You come back and see how I've got on. Now, I've gone for a 200 gram. That's about a seven ounce piece of pasta. And you're still going to be rolling it out until you can see your hand through. So this has got a little bit extra to go. And I'm going to be using a tea plate just to cut the circles out. So I need to get three pieces of pasta for my lasagna. So now let's start with our meat sauce. I'm just gonna take a pound or 500 grams of minced beef, pop it into a pan, a little bit of olive oil. Now, one of the most important things here is to make sure you brown this mince off. It's gonna add a lot more flavor. Let's get this over to the stove. Now, also at this point, it's important to salt the beef. Now, I think the Americans call this hamburger beef. And it's this caramelization that's gonna give the meat lots of flavor. Now, this is a stage a lot of people miss out, but trust me, this is where the flavor of the meat comes from. Everybody likes the brown end. These are browned up nicely. I'm now going to put a large brown onion in there. Brown again, but this looks white. Now, I'm just giving those onions a little chance to saute down before I add in my diced carrots. I've got about two carrots here, which are diced up finely. And that adds a little crunch, a little color. It's at this point I can add maybe two or three cloves of garlic. You can decide how much garlic you want. A little bit of fresh garlic in there. Now this goes in towards the end because we don't want the garlic to burn. Now you could use fresh tomatoes, but I'm going for a can of diced tomatoes. Or tomatoes as our American cousins call them. A little bit of black pepper. And I'm just going to add into that a cup of beef stock. And whenever I add tomatoes in, I tend to add a teaspoon of sugar just to add some sweetness back in there. Now I should add, I've got a few fresh chilies from the garden. I like them in there. I'm just gonna pop those in there as well. Now I'm not gonna cook this for very long now because this will cook in the oven. So I'm just going to take the heat off and cover that over and we'll leave it there while we prepare our cheese sauce. Now one of the most important things is that cheesy bechamel sauce or white sauce. I've got one and a half ounces, 40 grams of butter. That's slightly salted butter. Just pop that into the bottom of the pan. And I'm just gonna make a roux. I've got one and a half ounces, 40 grams of all purpose flour. Just gonna pop that in there as well. And over a medium heat, I'm just going to cook the flour off. So I'm looking for it just to start to change color slightly. Again, this is all about flavor. It's taking the floury taste, adding a little caramelization to it. Now, whilst that's browning, I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper in there. Now that's starting to go a nice light sandy color. I'm just going to put a teaspoon of Dijon mustard in there as well. Listen to it sizzle. Now I've changed over to a whisk here and I've got one pint of full cream milk. And I'm just gonna splash a little bit, maybe a tablespoon or two in there and start to whisk this up. Now it's fairly quickly going to thicken to a nice sauce. You can see the little bits of pepper. See how that's thickening? I'm gonna add some more of that milk in there, maybe about a cup of it. So now when it comes to a thick paste like that, we're ready to add the rest of the milk in. I'm just gonna put the full rest of that pint in there now. Now, as that comes up to the boil, you're gonna end up with this wonderful thick white sauce. Now we want a really nice cheese sauce, so you've got to use plenty of good cheese. And I'm gonna be using a sharp cheddar and a mozzarella. Now the heat is off now, the sauce will melt the cheeses. In goes 100 grams, that's three and a half ounces of cheddar cheese, and 100 grams, three and a half ounces of mozzarella. And then you can just mix this up, the cheese will melt in, now, as soon as that cheese is melted in there, we're ready to start assembling the lasagna. Now, you see our meat sauce here. I haven't forgotten, I'm gonna be putting in my herbs. Now, these are fresh from the garden. You might have seen me putting my herb garden together. I'll pop the video up on the screen, you can check it out. So I'm gonna use what's good in the garden. And at the moment, it's parsley and thyme. So that's gonna go in there. If I had it at the moment, my oregano would go in there. Just gonna give that a little mix through. Get my skillet up here. Now. The first thing I want to do is start layering our lasagna. So I'm going to take some of our meat sauce. 
Now don't be tempted to go too thick with this. Now over here, look, you can see that my pasta circles, they've even started to set already. Now I'm just gonna take the first circle, pop it in there, lay it on top. Then we're gonna take that lovely cheese sauce and I'm going to ladle it on over the top of my pasta. Just cover that over. See how beautiful and stringy that is? Next, another layer of the meat sauce. We'll take another layer of my homemade pasta, pop it on the top. Our cheese sauce again. Let's take some of our meat. Now I'm gonna have a little bit left over, but that's fine. I'll make a little lasagna up to go in the freezer and give that a little shake out. Isn't that looking absolutely delicious? Lastly, on goes my final layer of pasta. And then I want to take some of my cheese bechamel sauce, just pour that over the top. Now I've got my oven preheated over there, 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, but let's just put a little bit of cheddar over the top before this goes in. So I'm just gonna grate some fresh cheese over the top, and we're just gonna cook this for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I want a beautiful golden top. Let's get it in the oven. Now just take a look at that. That's still bubbling away. I'm just gonna pop a cloth down there. Now that is piping hot. So let's leave it on the side just for a moment before we decide to serve it. Now my lasagna has cooled down a little bit. I'm just gonna take a knife and cut myself a nice little slice, pop it in the plate. Now I'm gonna try with this. We're having this tonight for dinner, but I'll give it a try while you're here. Get myself some of that lovely crusty cheese off the top and here goes. Mm. So whether you decide to make this with fresh pasta or packet pasta, I'm sure both are gonna taste simple. Now you can add all sorts of extra things into here, aubergines and mushrooms. Quite often, whatever I've got in, we will use. Please comment down below if you give this a try. I'd love to hear how it goes for you. Take care, be good, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Now I hope you're enjoying the pasta series and I hope you're following it. I'll leave a link up here to it if you get across and check out the other videos. I'll leave a link to some other videos as well. And as always, I'd love to hear your comments. So be good, take care, and I'll see you next time.